What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Abandon. It's been quite a while, and uh, you know, this is the Sunday topic for our Podcast Now Plus, so I normally try to go off the beaten path and just kind of pick something random or just something different, and, and oh boy, does this, I think, fit the bill. It's been forever since we've uh, seen this game, since we've heard about this game. I just checked. Now, I'm recording this on Thursday. I just checked, and uh, you know, obviously, Blue Box, they haven't tweeted, I think, since like September 1st. Hassan, same thing. However, he has responded to people. Again, this is me recording this on Thursday. He's he's responded to people as early or as, as soon as uh, September 30th. So it hasn't been, you know, looking at my way, it's only been about a week or so since he has uh, been on Twitter. But pretty much the only thing that we've gotten uh, about this game since the app thing is that it's just constantly you've been pushed uh you know he's talked about there's going to be a gameplay reveal coming very soon well actually he said there's going to be the playable prologue coming very soon and then people were like well is there going to be a gameplay trailer before that and he's like oh of course there's gonna be a gameplay trailer. so yeah, it's just kind of like it doesn't really seem like order matters um you know i i made this video for a couple different reasons one was kind of to talk about that section two is to talk about you know is there still care in the world for this game now look i was you know me there's a couple other youtubers online uh that was kind of the pioneer or the leader in the you know this is you know something more to it now i guess some people went further and i went further too right uh, to link it to silent hill link it to hideo kojima but i kind of have always settled on there's just more there has to be more to this than what meets the eye i still do believe that at the same time Obviously, the longer you stretch something like this out, the more that, well, number one, you just lose all interest, you know, whatsoever. And, and I guess, well, I was going to say number two, like people just don't care. I guess with that is the conspiracies, the fun one. And again, like all of this stuff to me has always just been fun. I know it's at the same time, it's infuriating. I know that some people, it's just, it's always been so stupid that there's just no reason, uh, you know, to pay attention to it. But I've always had, you know, I try to always have a lot of fun with this stuff. I, I do admit that, you know, this is just, and I've said this a thousand times, like, this is a disaster. If this is the plan, I guess, fine. You, you execute the plan in the way that it's supposed to be executed. And if this is the way, this is the way. But if this was not the plan, and this is kind of just them all, you know, going, uh, you know, <laughs> off the seat of their pants, then this is, uh, this is pathetic. And I have said that before, right? If this really is nothing, right? If none of these things turn out to be true, if this truly is just a very ambitious, you know, indie game, I don't know how you do it worse than what they've done. Now, I guess, again, that's not entirely true because they also did do an incredible job with stirring up hype and, again, these these theories and stuff. Like, you don't just do that out of thin air. That doesn't just happen. So if they manage to make this game and make the eyes on it like a thousand times bigger than it ever would have been without it, without, you know, pushing the Hideo stuff, which a lot of that stuff is self-inflicted, right? We've talked about that before. They did a lot of this stuff to themselves. You know, I'll never, the people that say, oh, they made it very clear, you know, they're not associated. Yes, but what about the 500 other times that they did something that was a little sketchy? When you put them all together, it just doesn't make any sense of why they'd be doing it. You know what I mean? So like, yes, they said it once or, you know, a couple, I guess once is an exaggeration on the low end. They said it a couple times, right? But at the same time, they did it to themselves. But you know, I, when I think about it, when I talk about it, like right now, you know, me to you, I do get excited still. I, well, not even excited. I'm going to be flat out honest. I, most of the time I've talked about this game in terms of like excitement to play whatever this game is, it has not even really been there all that much. It's mainly just intrigue and interest in, you know, what's going on. I have been, like, I haven't been lying in terms of like, I've been faking how excited I am or how I guess pumped for like these conspiracies. No, I love that. I live for this kind of stuff, okay? But in terms of like, if this is really nothing, or if the playable prologue is like a two and a half minute thing, you enter a room and maybe you like open a door and there's your playable prologue. If like that's it, I mean, sure, that's amazing in terms of laughing at it, in terms of like dunking on it, you know, talking about it online. And maybe there's some hints of, of what, you know, again, like if we want to do the conspiracies with Hideo and all that stuff, like you can maybe do that. But like, it's going to be pathetic if that's the case. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be so stupid. So like it, in terms of, again, like, am I ready to, like, play it? I mean, I don't really care. I don't really think it's going to be, you know, it, especially if it's nothing, then I just think they're way over their heads. And again, if it is nothing, all those people that did the deep dive into them, which I don't take that away no matter what, but, like, in terms of all of their failed promises, their canceled games, I mean, these guys are disasters. But yet, 
But again, I just don't get, and you know, I know these are things you know that I've already somewhat said. But again, Sunday topic, I can do whatever. You know, when people say all of the stuff that's happened, right? Canceled games, all of that stuff, failed promises, money just lost. That's like that's fine, and that's very scummy of them and all that stuff. But like, how does Hassan, like? get to well I guess he kind of started it like him and one other person but like how is he still there why well, you you wouldn't fire him or you wouldn't figure out a way of disbanding or something also how do you wind up working with Sony now again there's some discrepancies of like well does Sony care or do they talk all that much with the people that they're working with no not necessarily but they do have some sort of communication and I just think for a studio that's been garbage literally like the worst possible to investors to people with like failed promises you you got to pay attention to that so like then i would if that's all true i'd shift the blame honestly to sony where it's like you need to pay attention to who you're dealing with you can't just let this kind of stuff just run around on your and then you're giving and but then again you're giving them an app you're where's the budget for this game coming from if they've never done anything ever which seems like they have never if they've never done anything how do they get the money for this? Where did the money come from? How much money do they like? How is this even possible? So again, you know, it just keeps going back. You know, I, I want I want to believe it's nothing just so like, a, well, no, I don't really. But, you know, there is that avenue where it's like if it's nothing, then it's, you know, at some point there's just no point to talk about anymore. And if that's a, a, the path we go down, that's fine. I have no problem letting Abandon go. I mean, I haven't made an Abandon video in like five, six weeks, which for me, making th uh, four videos a day, you know, across both channels, that's, you know, quite a bit if I didn't make an Abandon video in like a month, month and a half. So if that's the path we want to go or they're going to go, I don't have any problem not covering the game. I don't care. You know what I mean? I, I'll talk about how much of a, a failure and how scummy this entire thing was, and we'll move on. But... You know, if it is something more, that just it just I don't know, it just keeps coming back to me where it's like I want it to be something more. I always have. I've always had like a weird feeling about it, and I'm just gonna you know keep it up. So we'll see what happens. He keeps saying, you know, it's soon, it's soon, it's soon. I think it was supposed. Well, no, I don't know if it was supposed to be. He did say I think mid September that all this stuff wasn't gonna happen in September. So I don't know if that means that at some point it was supposed to happen and then it was pushed, but. People are asking him about the game awards, and he kind of ignored that part of questions. So maybe we see something there. But I, again, like, well, if it's at the game awards, then it's more than just a small indie game. You know what I mean? I don't think Jeff Keighley's gonna again because like if Jeff Keighley gives this the time of day, and it's a company that's ripped off people for like their entire history, what does that say about the whole? So you know, if it does show up there, I think it has to be something more. But hopefully, we get something like in November. Like, how hard is it to throw together a two? Uh, well, okay, well, no, they say, ga uh, you know, gameplay trailer is next. Is it that hard to make a gameplay trailer? I, I really, you know, I, I've always said, like, I'm not these people. I, I, I'm not good at that stuff. But, I mean, well, you've been working on the game, right? How hard, how hard could it be to make a gameplay trailer? And then a playable prologue. Unless the playable prologue is, like, an hour or two hours long, which I, I don't suggest they do that, and I don't think they'll do that, then I don't know what's taking that so long either. So, you know, I'll keep my eye on it. If you guys see anything, obviously, always let me know. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I do a brand-new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.